Hi Australia, I support marriage equality, but I love Senator Abetz. That guy is a hoot. So during Thursday's marathon government meeting on the question of same-sex marriage, Senator Eric Abetz allegedly argued that gay men didn't really want to get married and pointed out that Italian fashion designers Dolce and Gabbana never wed. The senator has since come out, so to speak, and denied these reports. He says he's not suggesting that gay men don't want to get married. It's simply that not all members of the gay community have the same view on this question. Firstly, I'm very glad to see the senator from Tasmania is showing such an interest in high fashion. Perhaps it's time for him to jazz up those conservative tie-shirt combinations to make his campaign against marriage equality a little more fabulous. He's right to a degree. Domenico Dolce and Stefano Gabbana, the kings of the Dolce and Gabbana empire, which moves in an industry that's considered to be very gay-friendly, were in a long-term relationship, but they never decided to get married, and they separated in 2003. A few observations. Dolce and Gabbana don't speak for the Australian gay community. They're two 50-something-year-old Italian designers, and the relationship ended 12 years ago. I mean, how does Senator Abetz seem to think that a relationship between two Italian guys that ended in the year that Eminem's Lose Yourself was popular has anything to do with Australia's marriage equality debate. It might be, because the pair got into hot water in March this year, when they were quoted in an Italian celebrity magazine Panorama opposing not just same-sex marriage, but same-sex adoption and IVF treatment for same-sex couples. Three position Senator Arbetz supports, by the way. The reality is that Dolce & Gabbana don't speak for the Australian gay community because they don't speak for the gay community in general on these issues. They made that plain when the story came out early this year. The pair said in a statement, We believe firmly in democracy, and we think freedom of expression is essential for that. We talked about our way of looking at the world, but it was not our intention to express a judgement on other people's choices. We believe in freedom and love. The key word in that quote is not freedom or even love. It's choice. The whole point about marriage equality is to give gay people the choice of getting married or not, as straight people have the choice of getting married or not. Sure, Dolce & Gabbana never got married, but who cares? Why didn't Senator Arbetz look at a couple like comedian Ricky Gervais and his partner Jane Fallon? Or Mad Men's John Hamm and his partner Jennifer Westfeldt? Or Oprah and Sedgman, for Christ's sake? Surely you've heard of Oprah, Eric. None of these couples got married. Does that mean that they're against hetero marriage? Of course not. In fact, all of the people that I just mentioned support marriage equality. Because marriage is a choice. And that's a choice everyone deserves.